Hello, today um, I'm making a video about how to multi-output route Superior Drummer 3 in Reaper. Um, now first I'm gonna tell you why you would want to multi-output route Superior Drummer in Reaper. When you have your drums multi-output routed, you have each element of the drum kit going to its own channel. So that gives you more control over the processing and balance than what you would have just trying to do things within the Superior Drummer mixer because every element of the kit will have its own channel. I'm gonna show you how I do this, and uh, it's pretty easy to set up, and I'm just gonna get straight into it. The very first thing I'm gonna do is add in a virtual instrument on a new track, and I'm going to find Superior Drummer 3. Hello, Superior Drummer, there you are. I'm gonna click okay. Oh no, I have accidentally done this twice. Let me, shit. Okay, so I'm going to insert virtual instrument on new track, Superior Drummer 3, I'm gonna click okay. And it's gonna give me this option to have all of the stereo outputs drop in here. Do you want to add the following tracks for this effect? And I'm gonna click yes. So I'm just gonna close this out here real quick. I'm gonna show you what I've got going on here. You can see it's dropped in a shitload of tracks. 17 to be exact, these are stereo tracks and you can now set these up to receive signal from Superior Drummer. So I'll go back into the virtual instrument and I'll get into how to start routing these in here. I'm gonna load up a different kit. I'm gonna load up the death kit because I really like it. Yeah, you can see it's it's loading in. I have this stored on an uh, on an external solid state drive, so it loads in pretty quick. All right, and I'm gonna hop over to the mixer tab. Now, the way I would set this up is I'll usually sum the kicks, I'll sum the snares, um, and I'll have the toms come out to their own tracks, and I'll sum all of the cymbals together, and I'll show you what I mean here. So I'm gonna hold Control so I can select all of these kick tracks and I'm gonna come here to the output section and I'm gonna send these to output one and two which that's a good place to start for your kick and then I'm gonna come down here in Reaper and you can see where this is named S1 S2 that's good because that tells you the name of the track as superior drummer sees it so I'll leave this alone until I actually send things out and then I'll rename this kick sum because that is the sum of all the Superior Drummer kick mics. And you can balance these individually going out of Superior Drummer and then hit them with processing and balancing and Reaper as well. And then I'll find snare top condenser, snare top dynamic, snare bottom. And I'm going to set send this to out 3-4. And then I'll come down here and I'll find 3-4 and I'll rename it snare sum. And then I'll skip the hi-hats for now, and I'll show you why here in a second. So with this one, you've got a, a top and bottom mics for um, the toms. So I'm going to send each tom to its own track. So I'll grab this here, and I'll send this to 5.6. Then I'll find 5.6 in Reaper. Tom 1. Now you can name this Rack Tom 1, whatever. I'll normally just name them like Tom 1 through 5. Tom 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Because I think this I think this one has five Toms. So then I'll find Rack Tom 2. And then send them to 7, 8. 7, 8. Tom. Shit. Ignore my typo. I'm sorry. I haven't used Reaper as my main doll in a while. I use Studio One Pro now. Um, so forgive me if I'm running a bit slow in Reaper. Sorry, I can't type today at all. Send these to 1112. Thirteen, fourteen.
And now I'm over here to all my symbols. So I'll come over here and I'll grab the hi-hat. The reason I hold control and click on these is because any shit, anything that you apply while you have them selected like this will apply to all. So, all right. I'm just going to send these to that will be 1516. And I'll name this symbols, symbol sum. Because that is all the symbols. And then you can balance. You can balance the symbols as they go out of superior drummer in superior drummer and then balance for your kit as a whole uh, in the DAW. Now, there are also overhead mono, overhead tube. You've got a few sets of room mics. I think in this kit, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna grab a groove and drop it in. Um, that way, I have something that I can just hear as I'm doing this. Okay, yeah, you can see down here how this is all getting separated out now, and. Uh, and Reaper. And this way, this way I can hear it. And I'm just going to go back over to the mixer section. Because I'll typically, I'll typically only route out um, what the default setting is. If you want to add more of these, you can, but you've got to go in here and enable them for the ones that are not used, like the additional ambient mics and mono mics and all these kinds of things that you can, you can get really creative with how you design your drum sound in superior drummer. And we can see that the only active one for this kit is the ambient mid. So I'm going to shoot them to 1718 and I'll name this room mid. Let's see, have we got anything else active in here? Oh, looks like that is how, looks like that's, that's um, how the kit is set up by default. And I'll come over here and I'll just click around so you can see like how Tom one, two, three, four, five, and then it's going, oh, I forgot to name this one. I'm sorry, room, or did I? Oh, I named the wrong one. Ha! Huh. Sorry. Uh, I'm a dummy. And this is this is how I do it. Um, you can take what I've shown you how to do here, and you can expand this further. Like, if you want to have your kick mics all come into their own channels or your snare mics all come into their own channels, if you want to add in additional room mics, because they're available in the plugin. As you can see here, um, one thing I'll normally do is I'll add in the mono, the ambient mono, and you can just like like compress and distort the shit out of that, like when you're mixing and and lay, layer it in really low. So I'll typically enable like the kick and snare, and maybe the toms on that because you can you can really get creative in a mix. But you can add in as much, or you can even if you didn't want to use the room mics, or you could switch to the room near or the room far. Um, you can do any number of things here, and yeah. So that's that's how you do it out of superior drummer and now what i'm going to do i'm going to take all of these unused tracks i'm going to hold control and i'm just going to select them and i'm going to get rid of the unused outputs that way i'm just at the tracks that are being used for the purpose of what i'm doing here and this this is how this is how i route superior drummer like this is how i would roll it myself I wonder if I can loop this. Bam. Yes, I can. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold control shift and I'm going to click there. I think you can do this. I'm going to insert a new track. Oh, where did it land? Is this our new track? It sure is. And I'm going to call this one drum bus. And then I'll go over here to the routing. And I'm going to have to do this for each channel. I don't know if you can... I'll, I'll try to control and do this all together. 
So you take out the master route, you take out the master send and you add new send and you would find the track that you'd name drum bus. It's important to remember to unclick master send as you're doing this. Yeah, I guess you've got to do this one track at a time, but that's okay. In studio one, you can just, you can one click this shit and have your bus routed. And I think it takes two clicks to route a bus. A lot more um, workflow friendly in Studio One than in Reaper. But I know a lot of people use Reaper, so I figured this would be a valuable video to some folks. Yeah, and I'm just going through and I'm just doing this for all these channels. So I'm going to make sure that everything is coming to the drum bus here in Reaper. And bussing things out is actually handy because you can send like all your guitar tracks to a bus. You can send all of your bass tracks to a bus. And now when I do this, if I mute the bus, everything stops. Control the volume of the whole kit with the bus channel. And then you can control your individual elements down here at the channel level. Or if you solo out this, you'll see how this is coming to the bus. And there you go. That is how you multi-output route Superior Drummer 3 in Reaper. I hope you enjoyed this video. If this helps you out in any way, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. And I'll try to do more instructional kind of content like this if it's something that you all think is cool. Thank you so much. Uh, take care and have a great day.